Welcome biologists. In this session, we're going to take a look at the different tests needed to identify the different biological molecules. So to start off with, we're going to have a look at the Biuret test for proteins. Now the Biuret solution is blue and when you add it to a protein solution, it turns a lilac colour. The next test we need to be aware of is the Benedict's test for reducing sugars. Now a reducing sugar is a sugar that acts as a reducing agent and there are some examples here in the box on the left hand side which yes you do need to be aware of. Now the way this test works is you would heat the sample with Benedict's usually using a water bath and if a reducing sugar is present you'll get a yellow, green, orange or brick red solution and the colour will depend upon the concentration of reducing sugar present. So for example if there is no reducing sugar present, the solution will stay blue, which is the colour of the Benedict solution. If I have a low concentration of reducing sugar, I'll get a greeny yellow solution. If I've got a bit of moderate concentration, I'll get an orange precipitate. And then if I have a strong concentration or a large concentration, I'll get a brick red precipitate. Now, a non-reducing sugar, the only example you need to be aware of here is sucrose. I have seen questions asked on this in multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and also long six markers. So you do need to be aware of the different examples and how to test for them. Now, what you'd do here is you'd heat the sample with Benedict's as normal in a reducing sugars experiment, but you would get no change. And if you get no change, you would then heat the sample with an acid such as hydrochloric acid. What this does is it breaks the glycosidic bond present within the sucrose molecule so that you then have two monosaccharides, a glucose and a fructose. And of course, these are reducing sugars. So you test for reducing sugars. When you get a negative test, you'd heat with hydrochloric acid and then add excess sodium hydroxide to neutralize the acid and then you would test as normal for a reducing sugar and you would get the same colours of the yellow, green, orange, brick, red precipitate. The other test for reducing sugars is the reagent test strips and these work by dipping the test strips that look like this into a urine sample. Now if there is a certain concentration of glucose within that urine sample you would get a colour change and the colour change would indicate concentration of glucose within the urine. This test you met at GCSE so it should be very familiar to you. Iodine is like a brownie colour and if starch is present we'll get a blue black solution. The last test we need to be aware of is the emulsion test and for this we add a few drops of ethanol to our sample, we shake it and then pour it over water and if lipids, if lipids are present you would get a white emulsion as you can see in this image here. So those are all the tests you need to be aware of. Good luck with your exams guys and anything in a red box there was taken directly from the mark scheme. All the best with your studies.